Hey, how's it going everybody? Today I'm going to show you how we can include a background image using CSS. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, let's get started everybody. What you'll need to begin with is a high resolution picture for a background. I just so happened to find a picture of Central Park in New York City. The higher the resolution, the better. So place that image within your website folder. In our HTML document, let's create a title. I'm just going to say the word hello. And we'll need some text, just as a point of reference. I'll generate some text by typing lorem, then hitting tab. And that's good enough for now. So within our style sheet, I will select the body of our document. We are going to include that background image with the background image property. Then we need a URL. The URL is going to be a relative file path or an absolute file path to where this image is located. They're right next to each other. I just need the file name. So my image name is background and this is a JPEG. All right, so here's my image so far. It's gigantic. It's huge. Let me show you what happens if I use a smaller version of the same image. This image, I think, is like 500 pixels for the width or so. Background dash small. So here's my image. But it repeats itself. There is a background repeat property. So within the body of my document, I will set the background dash repeat property to be no repeat. Now this image isn't repeating. We're headed in the right direction. What we'll do now is take this image and center it in the middle of my viewport. Take the background dash position property and set that to center. It's centered horizontally. Another property we'll need is background attachment. Background dash attachment. I think I misspelled attachment. There we are. The background attachment property sets whether a background image scrolls with the rest of the page or is it fixed. We will set the image to be fixed. Now this image is in the middle of my viewport. See, even if I were to expand and contract it, it's still within the middle. Lastly, we need this image to take up the entire space of the background. And there's one last property. Background dash size. We will set that to cover. Now this image is taking up the entire space of my background, which is what I wanted. I'm going to use that high resolution picture that I used previously. That's much better. All right, everybody. So that's how to add a background image using CSS.